This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Friday, July 10th, 2015. Euro dollar. So not much going on with the euro right now with the market confined to consolidation in recent trade and the market still remains locked within a broader underlying downtrend. At this point, we're going to need to see a break below 108.19 to open the door for fresh downside towards that March multi-year low, which comes in at 104.62. At the same time, any rally should continue to be very well capped ahead of the high from last Monday, which comes in at 12.79. Sterling dollar. So cable remains under pressure with the market trading down to as low as the 153.30 area this week, although deeper setbacks are in the cards, possibly down towards that 51.70 low going back to the 1st of June. At this point, the market would need to establish a close back above 155.50 to put the pressure back on the top side. Dollar Yen. So Dollar Yen is enjoying a nice little recovery in recent trade with the market rallying out from lows this week that were seen all the way down towards 120, stopping at 120.41. At this point, the pressure in the short term still remains on the downside, though ultimately the broader uptrend remains firmly intact and a higher low is sought out somewhere ahead of 118.33, that low that we saw in March, in favor of fresh upside back above that recent multi-year high at 125.85. At this point, if we do see additional corrective activity to the downside, it should be limited ahead of that 118.33 base, while only a break back below would force a structural shift in dollar yen. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss has been consolidating over the past several weeks, so the market looks like it's a consolidating in, in, the, in favor of a recovery uh, with a break above 105.75 to confirm and open the door for fresh upside towards that peak that we saw in February at 108.15. Really only back below 102.35 would compromise the recovery outlook for Euro Swiss. Aussie dollar. So Aussie dollar has traded down to fresh multi-year lows this week, although daily studies are a little bit stretched. But again, overall, with the market breaking down to fresh multi-year lows, deeper setbacks are favored towards the next key psychological barriers at 70 over the medium term. Any rallies at this point should initially be well capped into that previous support at 75.33, while ultimately only back above 78.49 would really compromise the bearish outlook for the Australian dollar. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has been very well bid in recent trade with the market now closing in on retest of the 2015 high at 128.35 further up. A break above 128.35 would open the door for fresh upside towards the 2009 peak at 130.65. In the interim, look for any setbacks to be very well supported into that previous resistance at 25.63. Kiwi dollar. So as you can see, Kiwi is locked within a well-defined downtrend, channeling lower to fresh multi-year lows, and now closing in on next key support, which comes in around the psychological barrier at 65. At this point, look for any rallies to be very well capped ahead of the 68 area, while ultimately only back above that high that we saw going back to the 10th of June, which comes in around 72.30, would compromise or take the immediate pressure off the downside. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 has traded down just shy of some critical March lows at 2040, and a break below this level would be a significant development as it would suggest that the top is in place and accelerate declines. However, if the market can hold above 2040, this could open the door for a resumption of gains back towards that May peak at 2137. But again, right now it does look like the market is trying to carve out a longer term top, and we'll have to wait and see how things play out. Gold. So gold is traded back down to multi-year uh, support, which comes in initially in the form of that 2015 base in the 1143 area, and then just ahead, of, and then just below there, the 2014 multi-year base at 1131. At this point, right now, we're going to need to see a break on a minimum back above recent highs at 1175 to take the immediate pressure off the downside and away from a retest of that multi-year low at 1131. It is possible if the market can hold and be supported down ahead of 11. 1131 that the market is still trying to form a major base and fresh upside could be seen back towards 1232 above which would expose the 1300 area further up but again initially we need to see a break back above 1175 to strengthen this outlook.